2024 is going to be a busy year for Victoria and I. I think we have like five weddings that we need to go to. They're going to be in New Hampshire, Oregon, and then a few in the Midwest as well. That's exciting for us because we get to be nomads for a little while and I get to go hiking and do all that kind of fun stuff. Welcome to my channel. My name is James and I like clothes and well-made things. And today I want to go over my hiking essentials. This is going to be more of a fashion forward essentials focusing on alternatives and fashion but also have a huge amount of function we're gonna go with my backpack first and then we're gonna go bottom up and then do kind of accessories and everything like that afterwards feel free to jump to things that you feel that are more important but let's get into the backpack This is my GORUX GR1 Heritage. It is a waxed cotton from Martexan. So it's 100% waxed cotton Martexan with a beautiful leather kind of inlays and things of that, that nature. The leather is actually gonna be from the Red Wing Tannery. So I wanted something that was a bit more heritage-y, something that I could wear traveling as a carry-on or I could use as my camera bag or things of that nature but I also wanted to be able to throw some gym clothes in it and just kind of go from there. And this is gonna be the perfect version from this. I ended up getting this bag on Huckberry. I will leave links to everything in below, so definitely check it out there. I went with a bluish color, and the reason why I went with the blue is the black is gray, but then it can kind of turn into gray. The blue, I think, matches the brown accents so perfectly, and I'm so happy to be able to wear it. It's the perfect heritage wear as a carry-on, but also the perfect rucksack where I can walk around and do a bunch of travel with it and do a bunch of hiking with it. Now we're gonna get into shoes, and I'm not a huge hiking boot guy. I do have a pair of Roa boots that I absolutely love as well that I have been wearing for a couple of years, but as I realize, I like to go with like a sneaker. The hiking that I do is not overtly crazy. I think the largest hike I've ever done is like 12 miles, so it's not insane, but it is still requiring like decent hikes and things of that nature. And my first hiking shoe is going to be my Norda GR1s. I just got these and as you can tell, I am putting them through the ringer. This one itself is the Stealth Black. Nordas, they have a full Vibram sole and a full, a full Vibram midsole. They have a Dyneema upper. Dyneema is a fabric. Uh, it, it's much stronger. It's considered to be like stronger than steel, the way that it's woven and stuff like that. So this is a super wearable, chunky shoe. And I like it too because the fashion aspect of it, I think Norda's shoes are are just super aesthetically pleasing. I love the look of them. They are a decent running shoe, but then they're also a super easy hiking shoe. If I did go with some crazy, crazy hikes, I might go with my Roa boot shoes or even my DMA boots, which I love as well. But these are gonna be my go-to for 2023, just running, hiking, things of that nature. I can't wait to beat the living heck out of these. And then last, as far as shoes go, this is gonna be something that is a little bit different, but I feel like if you spend a whole day hiking, the only thing you wanna do when you get done is take your shoes off and then like drive home or even just, just like declothe, if you will, and get comfy. These are the Oakley Chop Saw Mules. They're by Oakley Factory Chop Saw Mules. The ones that I got are in like this cool ostrich. And I just love them because they're so weird. They have a very traditional like sneaker bottom and but then they have like this neoprene leather upper and I like them because like I can wear these with jeans and they look good but then I wear them with the hiking pants or things of that nature and they look good as well. I find myself just putting these on and being like <sighs> relaxed and chill and allows my feet to breathe but these are my go-to when it comes to like travel and kind of that alternative to hiking shoe and something that I can wear that I just love to throw on and be comfortable after a long hike or a long run or something along those lines. So those are pretty much my go-to hiking shoes and boots. I don't have a lot of bottoms, but these are just perfect versions for me and I absolutely love them. First bottom, 
very basic, very chill, obviously not a lot to it, and that is gonna be my Patagonia baggies. There are two types of people that are into the Patagonia baggies. I go with the five inch because I like a shorter inseam. I prefer to cut the lining out and wear like my own boxers. I have been falling in love with the proof 72 hour merino boxers that I think are just really great. They're really comfortable, and especially if you're hiking, it's a great all day hiking like set of underwear. But the Patagonia baggies are great because they're just classic black. They have a great great pockets to them. They're very easy to pack. They've got the back pocket as well. And they're my go-to for pretty much everything. I'll wear them in the house as like just casual, like go to bed PJs. Then I'll hike in some different colored ones. I feel like sometimes when you're buying clothes, you don't need to have the most technical version of something in order to enjoy it. I'm not doing enough hiking that would like warrant me wearing like the most crazy technical garments that are needed. And for under like $60, you get an amazing piece of clothing that will last for years. They're classic and they, they're just great for hiking. When it comes to shorts, that's pretty much all I wear. I do have a few different other options, but I really don't do much more than that. However, I do have a few pairs of pants. I am definitely more of a pants person than I am a shorts person. Person. First pair is going to be my ACG. These are like the Fly Ease double knee pant. I literally run in these. I work out on them. These are like my go-to pants. I love the kind of stretchy and knit feeling. They've got like a decent belt on them, which is great. And then they've got like this hook right here so I can put my keys on it and I can do things like that. They are cinched at the bottom. So if I'm wearing taller socks or if I need to like cinch them up, they're perfect for that. And the reason why I like these is yes, they are super techy and 100% a very technical garment. However, they still feel like something that if I were like hiking all day, I could go sit and eat food and not feel like I'm wearing like something for a marathon or if I climb Mount Everest and stuff like that. I just find that so interesting when people are like super, super technical out for like a three mile hike or like a four mile hike. If I could buy more pairs of these, I would. I am looking at a few different other options as well that maybe are a little less technical. I don't want like the Lululemon ABC pant. I want something like adjacent to that, which I think will be a good alternative, but I'm not quite there yet. I want a little bit of a looser fit. The Nike ACG dry fit are just perfect for these. I love the color. I love the look. I love that kind of old school feel. And I'm very, very happy to have these. I did say that I'm not super into like the whole technical techie thing. I don't wanna be the guy that's only wearing like 100% tech wear, crazy like outdoor stuff. However, I do like to mix it into my wardrobe. Arteryx Gamma LT, I think. They're a little bit of a skinnier leg than I'm used to from a personal level, but these are great. I love Arteryx as I think they do a really good job of kind of like fashion with function. It's nice to have the brown of the ACG pants and then the black of these and they're perfect. These ones are a bit longer than I'd love so that I definitely have to cinch them or cuff them quite a bit. But I've been on vacations with these, I've gone around and again, it's another piece of clothing that I can just wear and I don't feel like I'm so overly technical. I'll probably wear like a hoodie with this. And again, I have run in these, I hike in these, I go to the gym in these, they're perfect. So I'm done pants. I Like I said, I don't have a lot of pants that I use for hiking and stuff like that. Whenever I get into uppers, I try to go with more of organic materials. I like cotton and I like wool. I know cotton is like blasphemous when it comes to hiking, but that's more along the lines of like going for a short hike or something along those lines, or if I'm just going to the gym and I wanna get a good sweat. And the first t-shirt is gonna be the Proof 72 Hour t-shirt. Like I said, I don't wanna like be the guy that's wearing like dry fit or, or working gear. It's like, listen, I am like a very novice hiker. It's more like I go to a like a national park and I hike the trails that like everybody else does. So these are kind of those options for that. And I love the 72 hour garments in general. I have the underwear, I have their t-shirts and they're just great. Like it allows me to wear it like one or two times throughout the week, especially when I'm trying to travel light and things of that nature, because like Merino doesn't smell. Um, it's like antibacterial, so you don't get a really great bad smell. And then it's naturally like moisture wicking, but it's perfect for me because I'll just wear that I'll wear a layer over it and it's comfortable, it's form fitting. However, there are days where it does get a little bit colder and you wanna wear another layer. Right now in Chicago, it has been like 50. 
and then it was 20, and then it was 70, and then it was 30, and now it's like 60 again. So the weather is so crazy that you kind of have to plan for a few different things. This is the Nike ACG. This is back when Errolson Hughes was doing Nike ACG. So this is like more of like your acronym kind of tech wear -y look. And I love it. This is a merino wool. It's got like the hood on it, has the ACG on the side reflective, and then it's got like this cool kind of pocket thing on the end. And it's funny, you can tell how old it is because it's got like the cord part where you can like stick a cord in if you want to. But this is just a traditional merino wool. I wear the heck out of it. It's a great mid-layering piece. Again, where like the Proof 72 hour t-shirt is perfect for like a t-shirt. This is the long sleeve version of essentially this almost the same garment, just a little bit more fashion forward. Like I said, I'm not like this crazy hiker. However, I want something that I can pack like one of and wear for three days. That might be gross to some people, but if you know about Merino, then you'll understand what I mean. This has been great. I've truly enjoyed wearing it, and you can't go wrong with Merino, as I said, like 15 different times in a row. However, sometimes you just wanna throw a t-shirt on, and I just go with a cotton tee. But a classic t-shirt is just perfect to wear. It's just nice to do. If you're going on a classic hike, like, and you're not gonna be doing overnight, so you're not gonna be doing there for a couple hours, like just to run in this and sweat, cotton tends to feel better on my body than any other material. Just a classic t-shirt that fits you well, that you like, that you can just like throw in the back of the truck or the car, and then wash when you get home is, awesome and you really can't go wrong with it. Those are gonna be the t-shirts and that to me is like the perfect example. Like you really only need a couple, you know, one or two pairs of shoes, a few pairs of bottoms, and then a few pairs of tops. You already know that I am obsessed with jackets. I have definitely an issue when it comes to jackets and these are definitely gonna be the most fun. Uh, let's get into my fleece first. This is my capital fleece. There's not a lot to say. It's a, I believe like a leopard print. I always screw up the prints, but it's a leopard print. There are way more technical versions of all sorts of different fleeces. For me, I always use my fleeces like a mid layering piece. It's my proof tee or my ACG tee and then I'll throw this on and then I'll throw an outer layer on for wind and stuff like that. But I have worn this on many hikes. I have been to Moab with this. I have been to Scotland with this. I've been to all these different cool places with this. I don't want like three different types of fleece for one thing and this has been great and the more I wear it the more I love it and the more important it gets and obviously capital is so great and it's fun to like walk by everyone and they're like what is this guy wearing it does everything that a flea should do and nothing more and nothing less it's definitely funky but it worked so there are times where the fleece is just not needed and you know maybe I need just like an in-between like a light layer I don't need to go with like a layering system like a fleece and a shell and this is my Arteryx Valence Mon. I have talked about this jacket in many videos for many different situations. It's a great travel thing for me. I'll wear it to the gym, I wear it running. The Mon is essentially like the Atom jacket and so it's like a light layering piece. However, this one has a like a DWR fabric. So it's great, it's gonna cut down the wind a little bit. I wish this one had the hood. However, it doesn't have it. So classic all black. Arteryx Valence Mon Jacket. Super warm, super cozy. Again, a piece that when I wear it, I can just dress it up, I can dress it down, I'll wear jeans with it. It's multifunctional, especially when you're traveling and, and just hiking, because again, you can wear it on the trail and just hike or go to the gym and work with it. However, if you wanna have jeans on and you zip this up, it looks professional. Or if you are wearing slacks or chinos, like it, it doesn't have a lot of technical look to it, but it is extremely technical and it's extremely warm I've had it for years and I would recommend it even the new one the old ones Arteryx Valence Mon jacket highly recommend all right I got one more piece and it's gonna, gonna go to no surprise it's still Arteryx the Arteryx Beta AR the Beta is considered to be like a less technical the whole system is very confusing when it comes to talking about Arteryx the Beta the Alpha the gamma are like the, the 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 lines if you will and then there's like this sv which stands for severe weather there's the ar which is like all around weather or something like that things like that it's very confusing there's probably a million blogs about it so you don't really need to put into it but i have the beta ar so this jacket is great because it's a little bit longer it's got like the duff the hood that like covers your face this is a perfect jacket for me especially when it comes to like hiking this is something that i put over my fleece or 
are over my mon and it just take, protects me from the elements. I've had this for a couple years, so it will last. I think I've had it for like four-ish years, but I absolutely love this jacket. It's great because it's got the cinch bottom so I can wear it cropped, but then I can wear it long where I need to, to cover my like butt and legs and everything like that as I'm hiking. So those are the clothing aspects of everything that I like when it comes to hiking. Again, these are not the most technical pieces. They're not probably the best versions of everything, but they're what I like and that's what I've been using for many years. So now let's get into like technical gear. These are just stupid little things that I love and that I use, especially while I'm hiking. And the first one is gonna be a portable charger. I find myself using a portable charger often. I just use one of the classic like Mo Mofi, Mobi or whatever. And that one is like the larger of the two. So it'll charge my phone like three times, which is important because like, I'm also a social media guy. So I want to take pictures. I want to take videos, but it's also nice because you're going to be using the GPS a lot. So that's kind of important as well. Great thing to have and I highly recommend that just especially in your backpack. Next is going to be my Leatherman and this is probably the most technical or the most gear related version of what I have as far as like in my bag. I do carry like all the survival and stuff like that but I don't need to talk about it. It's important to have that stuff but I'm not going to get into like RB blah 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 or the band-aids or stuff like that. However I just got this Leatherman and I'm excited about it and it is the free P4. It's basically their second most premium version of Leatherman and I really love it because it's all can be done through like one-handed whether it's the tweezers to just like pull out uh, a splinter or the knife to cut something if you need to or whatever I think having a multi-tool something like the p4 or even just the um, Victorinox like little knife is perfect for that I love it I like playing with that I like the tech stuff I need to do another EDC video in the next couple weeks so um, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to know what my EDC is now we're gonna get into something that is stupid and that is the snow peak water bottle I've had this water bottle now for probably about a year and a half maybe maybe two years and snow peak if you guys are familiar is like a super premium outdoors company they do really beautiful clothing they do really beautiful tents and things like that but it's Japanese and it is expensive this is a full titanium water bottle it is 800 milliliters and it is $150 I don't recommend spending $150 on a water bottle. I think it's insane. However, I am insane. My thought process on this was, if I didn't buy it, I would buy something else, like an alternative that to it, and I would just regret it, and then I would eventually buy this. If you're looking for a good water bottle that you know it's like, this will be the last water bottle that you'll ever use, then this is perfect. It is a single line water bottle, so, it is not gonna keep all your stuff super cold or super warm. However, you can boil it if you need to, and that's why I got this. It's a great like travel thing. I don't care about hot water versus cold water from a personal level, and I'm not gonna put soup or juice or teas in this, so I've got nothing to worry about. Really love this water bottle. Highly recommend it if you need it, and if you want it, and if you're insane like me. It is the Snow Peaks water bottle. Those are my accessories. That's like my gear. Those are my hiking and gym essentials, everyone. Like I said, I'll leave links below and kind of chapters for everything. But thank you for coming. I really appreciate the time and we'll chat soon. Goodbye.